guys, I'm gonna freak. This is my third time trying to film a video. I've tried to film multiple different videos, but I've been so stressed all day trying to figure out all these videos and just process the information myself. So I'm sure that some of you feel very similar to me right now. I'm gonna try my best to help you and not freak out myself. Call me Jeffree Star with this middle straw on my Red Bull. The Electric Forest announcements were made today, all the ticketing options and all that, and there is so much information to try to consume. Even as someone that has been five times and is going for my sixth year, I'm still even flustered. So I'm going to try to help you digest this information. And I don't want to overpromise because I just came up with this idea today after all this information came out and I thought all this information was going to come out next week so I've had absolutely no time to prepare but I think I'm going to try to do like an electric forest week get out all this information five days in a row instead of trying to cram it into one really long video I'm going to try to separate it out so every subject gets the detail that it deserves and that you guys need today I'm going to be focusing on how the loyalty program works, and then payment plans. Since this is my first video in my Electric Forest week, which again, I'm not promising is definitely gonna fully happen every single day for the next five days, but I'm going to try. Anyway, I just wanna address the fact that they're calling it Decade One. I think how they branded the 10 year anniversary was really fun. I just thought they were gonna call it 10 year anniversary, which compared to this is just so boring. The whole concept of it is like, it kind of is celebrating the last 10 years, but is really focusing on the next 10 because if you don't know, they've been approved to have electric forests in this location for the next 10 years. So we are guaranteed to double the time we've already spent in the forest. So now we are guaranteed up until the 20th anniversary to have electric forests in this iconic location, which is super exciting and relieving. I just think it's really cute how they're just kind of like saying we've had an amazing 10 years, but let's not focus on the past and stay excited about what's to come in the future, which is just a great motto in life in general and how everyone should try to live. So I really appreciate that. Once again, I'm going to be doing I'm going to try to do an electric forest week, but if not, I already have a ton of electric forest videos. I have whole electric forest playlist that will be linked down below, and then me and Vibe with Aid created a playlist with a ton of helpful electric forest videos from both of us, then also other creators that we wanted to add into the playlist. So you have a really complete, well-rounded playlist to look at. You can subscribe and turn on the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Everything is festival related and Electric Forest is the festival I've gone to the most so I feel like I'm pretty much an Electric Forest channel so definitely subscribe for more information to come. So once again, this video is going to be all about how to secure your tickets, whether you have loyalty or you're going with the general on sale, and then also all about saving your money without payment plans. So for this first drop, the most important one, you can get your wristband to get into the festival, the camping options, and then you can also get early arrival passes. I do not think that there is a limit or that they will sell out of early arrival passes but they will sell out of wristbands that get you whatever camping option that you want, so you need to be ready. You should already know what kind of loyalty you have because they should have emailed you if you have loyalty. If they didn't give you the right loyalty status, there is a loyalty recognition form that you were supposed to fill out by yesterday. They say you can't turn it in anymore, but my motto in life is it's always a no if you don't ask, so you might as well try if you did not do that. The actual loyalty codes have not been sent out yet, but those should be coming within like the next week, week and a half. So be patient and make sure you're checking your spam boxes and make sure you're also logging in to the ticketing account to make sure that you have access because the last thing you want is to be going for a VIP ticket or something that's going to sell out really fast and then missing it by the skin of your teeth because you couldn't figure out what your password is. The first on sale date is Wednesday and this is where six in the forest and four of the forest people can buy their ticket. So it's really important to buy your ticket during the time zone that you're supposed to. It's kind of unfortunate because the part of the website that clarifies this specific question 
won't work and will like won't expand to see the answer. I'm not quite clear on what the deal is here, but Six in the Forest starts at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, December 4th, and Four in the Forest starts at 2 p.m. on the same day. This gives a time period where Six in the Forest can take advantage of all the VIP options before Four in the Forest. People get their chance at it. This is really important if you want VIP to get on there right when the sale starts because these will sell out. Last year, these options pretty much sold out completely during the Six in the Forest and Four in the Forest on sale. So get on it if you want a specific one. This is the part that's not clear. I know last year there was a loyalty on sale period. All the loyalty codes expired at the same time the night before the general on sale. Um, and if you had four in the forest, you could still buy during the general loyalty on sale. So the higher status that you had in loyalty, the longer time period that you had. I can't tell this year if you can only purchase your six in the forest during the six in the forest time or if you have the whole time period. So just do it immediately, do it immediately if you don't know. So like I said in my last video, talking about all the changes for this year, if you haven't seen that, click that because that has even a little bit more basic information that I'm not going to repeat here. But you had six in the forest if you've been six years and this is your seventh year that you're purchasing for and the same thing with four in the forest. You get it if this is your fifth year and you've already been four times. So if you have either of these ticketing options, you are guaranteed two wristbands. So you can buy one for yourself and a friend if you want to. For either of these on sales, you're guaranteed two GA wristbands. You are guaranteed two Good Life wristbands if you choose to do Good Life instead. You are also guaranteed up to two other packages with the other loyalty options. Cutting in because I explained this next part wrong. You are also allowed a chance at buying two packages for any of the other loyalty options. You are not guaranteed any of them, but you have a chance at getting them. And also, this does not mean you're allowed to get six wristbands total, two of each option. You have to choose when you, you can get up to two GA wristbands or up to two VIP Good Life wristbands or two of the other wristband packages. And this goes for everything else I'm explaining for the next few minutes about all the on sales. You're not allowed to get all different kinds. You have to choose one. For GA wristbands, in Six in the Forest, you get $125 off and you get $85 off if you have Four in the Forest, which definitely helps out as prices increase every year. So it kind of keeps you evening out. Like every year I've pretty much paid the same amount since my first year I went like five or six years ago now. Four in the Forest and Six in the Forest all have the same perks, which are to skip the line to get in with the pin that you're provided, and you also get a discount and first pick at VIP. It is unclear what else Six in the Forest gets last year. They got like a special party in um, the hangar or the chapel that, that they were only allowed to go to. I don't know what it entailed. But this year it says that Six in the Forest gets anything that Four in the Forest gets and more, whatever that means. So it's really important to purchase during your on sale time because say I decide not to use my four in the forest code during the four in the forest on sale time and I just decide to buy with the general on sale, I wouldn't be able to take advantage of the four in the forest perks. This won't take away from adding on to your loyalty. If I bought a ticket this year during the general on sale, I wouldn't get my pin, but I would still be allowed to get six in the forest next year. Um, even though I didn't purchase it during the right time, if that makes sense. So now moving on to December 6th, this is the day that you can buy a ticket if you went last year. So if you've been three times before, and you decided to skip last year, you do not get any sort of loyalty codes. So this only qualifies if you went last year and you've been one to three times. So again, these on sales are broken up even though they're on the same day. If you did Good Life last year, you get to purchase at 10 a.m. And if you just did regular GA, you get to purchase at 2 p.m. You get a $20 discount on GA wristbands. You also get discounts for Good Life wristbands for all these, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm only naming what how much you get off for the GA wristbands because that's what most people get. So if you get this standard loyalty code, you are also guaranteed one wristband. So you can only buy for yourself, not yourself and a friend like you could with four in the forest and six in the forest. So I kind of screwed up something again. Um, 
I did my best guys. I'm really flustered like I said. If you did VIP last year, you're guaranteed either one good life wristband or one regular GA wristband. But if you did GA last year, you're only guaranteed a GA wristband. Just because you have a loyalty code that guarantees you a good life wristband, it doesn't guarantee that you get the camping option with the loyalty wristband that you want, you know? So if you wanted Cherry Orchard, that could sell out, but you could still get another sort of VIP camping option. So like I said, make sure you order during your time if you wanna get all the perks that come with the code that you are given. Um, if you want a specific VIP camping option, you have to get on it. So if I was not clear before, Electric Forest wristbands all come with some sort of camping option. GA comes with camping. You don't need to buy a camping add-on pass. I'm actually going to be going into all the different camping options in another video. And then if this is your first year or you've been before but didn't go last year, you have to buy with the general on sale and that is on Friday, December 6th. This is at 10 a.m. All the times I've been listing have been in Eastern Standard Time. So if you live in another part of the country, make sure that you're figuring out what that time is for your local time, because that's the last reason you don't want to get a wristband or the wristband that you want because you mixed up the times. So when it comes to regular on sale, you need to be prepared because this will sell out on the day of, I can almost guarantee it sold out in five hours last year. And I'm assuming that is going to happen again. So so you're not guaranteed anything here. You are allowed to buy more, so you can buy up to four wristbands at once here. And if there are any VIP options left, you still have that option. The GA wristbands right now are going for $375 for the general on sale. So like I said, make sure you guys are all prepared at the exact time, because the last thing you want is after four years of going, thinking you're finally gonna get the expedited entry, you're finally gonna get the lodging pass that you want and then you don't get it because you slept. I always like to use the same email every time I log in that I always register my wristband to so there's never any confusion and that is probably why I've never had to deal with the loyalty recognition form or not getting the right loyalty code. So always just use the same email. Make sure you're using an email that you will have access to so don't use a work email don't use your email for school make an email that you know you will always have access to even if you have to make a new one make sure you write down the email write down the password write down the name of the websites so you will never forget and like i said just go make sure that you can log into your account right now so you don't have to deal with that in the heat of the moment this video is already so long thank god i'm doing this week-long series because I don't know how I ever would have fit all this information into one video. So moving on to payment plans. This year they have a t bunch of different options. These are I think all the options that they had last year. Last year I ended up just paying for mine full so I wouldn't have to think about it but I have done payment plans the other years. So again your options you can pay in full if you want and you don't want to think about it. Um, it's definitely stress-free if you have the money to do that, which I did last year and I loved not having to deal with making more payments. The next best option is one third down plus fees at the time of your purchase. So in my experience in the other years, the fees for a ticket are something like, I don't know, $50. So I put down 10%, which is like $30 plus another 50. So it ended up being like $80 on the day of. Then you will have two more payments and you will end up paying the final payment within two months. You will have a, another payment at the beginning of January and another payment at the beginning of February. And the website is not clear if you're paying all the fees on the first day with the amount that you choose to put down or if it's spread out evenly across all the payments. If this is the same as other years, you will pay all of the ticketing fees that a typical concert ticket has on that first day with whatever amount you have down. And then fees attached to the rest of your payments are the $2.50 that you're being charged extra per transaction. This is just like, sometimes you get charged if you use a credit card at a gas station because they get charged for every swipe. It's like every time they're swiping your card virtually, you get charged the extra $2.50. The next option, if you wanna put down less money, you can do 10% down plus fees, so you will owe 
the day of and then you will owe 30 percent three more times so that will bring you up until the beginning of march and then finally you can do one percent down plus fees so you'll owe like pretty much barely anything probably like 50 bucks the first day and then you will owe 16.5 percent pretty much every two weeks the catch with this is if you don't have the money the day of, this is the way to go. With the 1% down, you're still paying in the same amount of time as if you do the 10% down, so you're still paying by the beginning of March. The rest of the money is split up into six payments over the next 90 days rather than three payments over the next 90 days. I personally would recommend doing the 10% down if that's the case because when you choose to do a payment plan you obviously put your credit card in to do that first fee and then after that it will keep charging you automatically on the day of so you have to keep making sure that you have enough money in your account for that day. If the amount due that day is declined you have 10 days to get the money into your account when, and then it will recharge. And if you don't have the money in on that 10th day, when they're trying to give you that second chance to pay that amount, if you don't have the money in that day, you're forfeiting your ticket. You'll be losing all that money and then you'll also be charged an extra $50 for the inconvenience for them. The more payments that you have, the more times you have to risk that you won't have the money in your account. So it's really important to stay on top of what days you're being charged. Like write it down in your calendar and make sure you have that money in on that day of because you don't want to deal with the stress of trying to get it in within those next 10 days. I don't know if this video made any sense. I'm so flustered guys. So I know that means you guys are flustered too. This is so much information. This was one of the simplest videos that was supposed to be. I wish you guys all the luck in the world getting the ticketing option that you want. I am so excited for Forest. I've been dying to be making you guys all of this Forest content. I'm so excited. I love talking about it. If you don't know, this is my absolute favorite festival. It's just my favorite thing to be talking about. Also, peep my shirt from last year. This is like one of the best ones I've ever gotten because thing is, oh yeah, it has a base drop on the O. This is like obviously like a lot shirt. This was not an official shirt. I got this from a sketchy man that came through our campsite. Please subscribe if you want all the Electric Force content. I will have so many videos helping you prepare. I will have vlogs coming when the time comes. I'm going to so many events between now and then. So if you want all the festival related content, please subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram to keep updated with the daily stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!